as so Jack Yates quickly drops away, premium access being hard ridden, risk and roll, Lord Scoundrel moving into third place, fire away has got Admiral Bratchery for company as they make their way, a long run towards the final fence, fire away still travels pretty well, just getting a bit lower in the saddle now Adam Wedge, Briny Frost and Admiral Bratchery is coming back for more, they are well clear of anything else, fire away, a big battle on now, Admiral Bratchery is upside at the final fence, they both get over okay, it's fire away on the far side, can Admiral Bratchery get by, fire away out in front from Admiral Admiral Baratri, who won't go away, but Fire Away is doing enough. Fire Away takes the feature from Admiral Baratri in second place. They finished well clear of Risk and Ross. Coming a little bit wider, then comes Lady Vera. So Falloway de Bro in front, but has got plenty of pursuers. Dom Perry in second. Twisted Firestarter being bumped along now. Out wider, Exmoor Express is trying to come into it there. Well clear of Lady Vera. Still Falloway de Bro. Paddy Brennan getting more animated in the saddle now. And has got company and is being passed by Dom Perry and Exmoor Express. Twisted Fire starters in behind as they start to make their way inside the two. Dom Perry up on the rail with upsides Exmoor Express. Then in third place, Falloway Dubro and Twisted Fire starter. But it's Dom Perry who holds a fractional lead down the straight, going on from Exmoor Express. And it's Dom Perry moving on by a couple of lengths under Adam Wedge. And Dom Perry's got this in the bag from Exmoor Express in second place. Just pushed out hands and heels to the line. Dom Perry, double for Laura Morgan. Another one for Adam Wedge. Dom Perry wins quite nicely. From in second place, Exmoor Express clear. Half a mile left to run. Forsley Spirit and Luca Morgan from Jeffroy in second. Sant Delina flight deck and then Republican and Zaguli back in fifth place. A little bit short of toe on that turn. Followed by her his stable mate Ruby Yates as they straighten up now for the judge with two more flights left to take here. And it's a three-way go. Jeffroy, Forsley Spirit and Sant Delina over the second last. Staying on behind them is flight deck for pressure. And now for Forsley Spirit pulls out a bit more, but Jeffroy is coming right back at him. They've got one more flight left to take. Santelina back in third place. Little to choose between Forsley Spirit and Jeffroy with Santelina back in third. Flight deck only the one pace in fourth. A real three-way go here as they race inside the final furlong, and Jeffroy strikes the front. Forsley Spirit is battling back on the far side, but Jeffroy, he's in fantastic form. So too is the Laura Morgan team. Red hot at the moment as Jeffroy goes on to win. In second place, Forsley Spirit. Back in third, Sant Delina. Flight deck, a close-up fourth. Meanwhile, where's Maud gone? Is still hard on the bridle. And Condessa's been headed. Looks like she's fighting a losing battle. Minwi Ciel is in third place. Then a gap to Stone Crossing and Gypsy's Secret. Annie Brown's dropped tamely away. Where's Maud gone? Condessa is sticking to the fight as best she can. Where's Maud gone, though? Adam Wedge is only ride of the day, and Adam's not asked anything yet. Where's Maud gone? Now he pops a question, and it's a fairly serious question. It's been asked from nowhere on where's Maud gone. Condessa is still there. Jacob not giving this one up at all. Where's Maud gone and Condessa? They're 30 lengths clear. Stirring finish to end the afternoon. Where's Maud gone all out to beat Condessa? They were well clear from Minui Ciel, fully 30 lengths behind them in third place. And Gypsy's Secret next. Well, it looked as if whenever Adam Wedge let the handbrake off. Behind as they come over the next flight of hurdles, that one across from us over in the back straight. And I was the future once continues to lead up uh, from Tara's day in second. Four lengths away in third now is Istimra. And then listen to the lady from the patiently ridden Scully's Forge is coming closer now under James King. Silk or Scarlet is now nudged along towards that one's inside as they make the approach to the third flight from home. And we've got a leading group of six here, covered only by two and a half, three lengths or so. Uh, they've moved well away from Presence Felt and the others. So making the run back past fence, comes to it now then Thomas Todd. And again, just shifts out to the left a little bit, but he's miles clear. Hedgenator making no impression in second, nor is Eagle Ridge in third. Catalytic follows, but here's the final fence for Thomas Todd. And he's over it low and fast, and the race looks to be his. A good battle on for second place between Hedgenator and Eagle Ridge down the outside. A long break after those to Catalytic in fourth. But it is Thomas Todd who dominated this race from the front. He's made every yard of the running. And Thomas Todd in the hands of Patrick Cowley, another at this festival for trainer Laura Morgan. And Thomas Todd has done it easily. Beating into second place, Eagle Ridge. Back in third was Hedgenator. And coming across the line in fourth position will be Catalytic.
totally controlled that. Might be a veteran, but you wouldn't know by the amount of uh, times the horse has run. And he dominated that from some way out, quite lightly raced under rules. Well done to Laura Morgan and Patrick Cowley because that was enterprising enough. People who's trying to stay on in fourth position and is doing so. Up the hill they come, back towards us then, just the one flight to take in the carpet gallop. UK all weather gallops, Mayor's Norris's hurdle. And it's Milan's Edge in front by two lanes. Gentle Jolie sticking to her guns in second. A gap of eight to ten to Mabel Abel, who's now taken third from It's a Lily in fourth. Then Lincoln Lynn down the straight they come. Brian Hughes just administers a reminder to Milan's Edge to keep her mind on the job. Gentle Jolie's not going away in second, but has four lengths to find. Here's the final flight of hurdles then for Milan's Edge. Down towards it she comes at the last, shortens into it. Now only two lengths clear of Gentle Jolie, who's making a good fist of this and trying to challenge. They go inside the final half furlong. Now Gentle Jolie on the far side, punched up near side. Milan's Edge tries to respond, but Gentle Jolie is going to land the spoils here for Laura Morgan and Tommy Dowson. Gentle Jolie won it to Milan's edge in second they finish clear of Mabel Abel and behind those it's the Lillian Lincoln Lynn though Licklighter on the inside of that's a given a ridden along Commodore Barry then four lengths back to Ballycross they're well clear Smugglers Blues is barely moving around the bend then comes the captains in as they race towards the final three fences that's a given with Licklighter still saving ground on that rail Commodore Barry's trying to stay with them two lengths behind in third place and then a gap back to Ballycross as they race down towards the final two fences then Licklighter over on the far side that's a given it was a very short at that just almost dived at it as in behind the Captain's in and Smugglers Blues have pulled up. Commodore Barry's trying to get back on terms. Heading towards two out. Lick light of far side. Near side, that's a given. Little between them there. Three lengths clear of Commodore Barry in third place. Then comes Bally Cross. Lick light has now been shaken up by Brian Hughes and has quickly moved clear. Final fence. Lick light. A good jump. Uh, that's a given. Barely gets over. Pass now by Commodore Barry. But well clear here now is Lick Lighter, who's moved about 10 lengths clear and racing up towards the line. Lick Lighter for Laura Morgan. Another one for Laura and Brian Hughes. It's Licklighter who will win for Paul Reed in very convincing style. Save ground all the way and wins with plenty to spare. In second place, Commodore Barry. Then Salah continues to get closer, covered up by Hughes as they make their way inside the final quarter of a mile or so. And it's Bold Endeavour that leads to Uncle Jez. Salah is travelling, eye-catchingly strongly at the moment as they make their way down the hill. Bold Endeavour and Salah. They're then followed by Uncle Jez. They've left the rest behind down towards the final furlong. Inside it very shortly. Bold Endeavour's finding a bit more out in front and has that Irish point stamina in the locker as well and now goes on by a couple Salah having gone from uh, traveling really strongly now can't find a great deal and racing up towards the line bold endeavor had some interesting form from across the water and he's brought it to bear here in a bumper race at Sedgefield second position for Salah the third horse home there's going to be Uncle Jez and Dacha Lot the gap in second Nebuchadnezzar Buster Thomas then comes Monty's award two out the final open ditch Thomas Todd over a couple of lengths clear from Diligent who's giving chase in second Nebuchadnezzar Canezza, Buster Thomas, and then comes Monty's award. Away for Slates has cleared the open ditch. Thomas Todd still going well, heading around the final bend. Four lengths clear. Chased by Diligent in second place. Then comes Buster Thomas in third. Nebuchadnezzar comes next to Monty's award. Thomas Todd in front still by four lengths to Diligent, who's trying to close the gap in second. Thomas Todd heading to the final fence from Diligent. Over the line. Oh, made a right mess of it, but got away by a length and a half. Thomas Todd now is all out in front. Can Diligent close the gap? Thomas Todd being hard driven, Diligent trying to close the gap, Thomas Todd just lasting out, Thomas Todd is the winner from Diligent in second place, then came Buster Thomas in third from Monty's award and Nebuchadnezzar.
Not giving up, and then Cinderella on the inner, so somewhat cloudy with gentle Jolie. Well, she did get outpaced, but she's kept responding, and she's got to a narrow lead from somewhat cloudy. They run to the last, less than two furlongs to go. Gentle Jolie on the left, on the right, somewhat cloudy. Gentle Jolie just to somewhat cloudy. Cinderella is challenging as they now make their run towards the final furlong. Gentle Jolie with Cinderella, the challenger in second place now under Chris Ward, and gaining on Gentle Jolie. Cinderella is attacking Gentle. Gentle Jolie, they run to the last half furlong. Gentle Jolie and Adam Wedge, Cinderella and Chris Ward. Gentle Jolie finding enough in front. And Gentle Jolie has won for Laura Morgan and owner Alan Rogers in the hands of Adam Wedge. In second position, Cinderella. They were clear. Tight third. Paraqueen running on somewhat. Cloudy got tired. Then Fair Flame and Kitty Hall. Well, Gentle Jolie has won. The well-backed Cinderella loomed up, threatening, but just couldn't quite go on and go past. And Gentle Jolie has won for Adam Wedge. And he's got a golden chance to win again here. He's three or four lengths in front of last year's hero. Fire away in second. Adam Wedge not quite giving up. Adrian Heskin is working away on Seddon in front as they get to the home turn. He leads by two. Fire away is trying to chip into his advantage in second. He's getting closer. Fire away on the outside of Seddon. He's going to have to want this now. They race towards the last half furlong. Seddon on the inside of Fire Away. Not much to choose between them. Fire away the near side of Seddon. They race towards the line. Seddon and Fire Away, Fire Away has got up to win it. It'll go to the judge, Fire Away the near side of Seddon, well clear of Brotherly Company. The loose horse, Eritage, is just pottering around on the run-in and hopefully none the worse. Well, he did be unlucky far away because he was hampered by that fall of Eritage. We hope Eritage and Tom Scudamar are OK. Uh, second, then, is three Seddon, who was caught. He hit the... Can he get a better jump at this one? Tardry, much better. Lands a length and a half in front of Cawthorn on the right and then Larch Hill, hard ridden by Twist and Davis. And it's Tardry and Adam Wedge on down towards the last, opening up, gone four clear again. Tardry safely over the last, pursued by Larch Hill. Cawthorn at the one pace. And Tardry is galloping on strongly. Wedge glances across the big screen. He'll be quite happy with what he sees. Tardry makes all to win well for Bennett O'Brien and Laura Morgan. Larch Hill in second, Cawthorn third, and a good gap to Shea Hans in fourth. swinging away near side for Adam Wedge right behind those Luke Sands been asked to pick up down towards the final two and a half they come then and up front Lurgo now pounced on by the smooth travelling the Wild Westerner Luke Sands is next Landacre Bridge has given away Huntsman's call follows them but the Wild Westerner's in front here back towards the final for long and a half the Wild Westerner opens up by two to three lengths in short time to Lurgo who's giving chase in second then Luke Sands in third but inside the final half they go the Wild Westerner and just nudge clear by Adam Wedge is going to score a decisive victory in the finale. The Wild Western has taken that really well to Logo in second. Luke Sand for third. It's going to be tight for fourth. Maybe just Huntsman's call in front of Landacre Bridge. Strong challenge. Licklighter on the outside at two from home. Amalfi Doug responding well towards the inner. And the two of them now are set to fight out the finish of the Kilmaney Cup. Amalfi Doug towards the inside of Licklighter. Here's the final fence. Amalfi Doug is back fractionally ahead to Licklighter in second. Will Licklighter go past on this long run in for home? Cuneo crossed it safely back in third. It's Amalfi Doug who's been there all the way. Has got a length and a half in hand over Licklighter. Licklighter was certainly closer a couple of furlongs back. But is closing again as they near the finish. Amalfi Doug, Lick Licklighter coming back on the outside to pick him off. He does pocket. He got there, Licklighter. Licklighter the near side. The challenge on the outside. Reverse sweep pushed along. A couple of lengths behind the leading trio. Then follows Irish Sovereign and Sol Plum Creek. Snug as a bug is pulling up at the top of the home straight as the leaders went over three out. Ultimate getaway with fire away now challenging on the outside as they come down towards the second last. Love You to the Moon has been pulled up as well. Over two out, far away on the outside, jumped on from the hard-ridden ultimate getaway. They've readily outpaced Zuba and reverse sweep. Heading down to the final flight, fire away, jumped it in command, three lengths clear. Ultimate getaway over in second, but hanging, and there are a dozen lengths in front of Zuba as they race inside the final 100 yards. Fire away under Adam Wedge. is stretching away from ultimate getaway, and with his ears, is pricked fire away 
has gone on to beat Ultimate Getaway by some six or seven lengths. Reverse sweep got up for... Jacket a point of honour. Dream point and Violet Barton to the wide outside making progress in the predominantly white jacket. Uh, further back to Never Surrender. Capital Ass has lost ground then Framley Garth followed by O'Reilly's pass and now they make the run to the final furlong and a half. The one to catch is Cuda Gold. Now Cuda Gold has got about a length and a half on them. Here comes the grey win foaler Edgar Allan Poe. Point of honour up the inside charging home. On the wide outside is Dream Point. Inside the final 150 yards win foaler Edgar Allen Poe and Dream Point over the top in the hands of Violet Barton and it is Dream Point from Winfola. Dream Point beats Winfola, Edgar Allen Poe, Point of Honour and Never Surrender are together for other places. Dream Point give Violet, gives Violet Barton her first success. Well, many congratulations to Violet Barton, her first success and what an eventful race that was because Dream Point didn't lead from stall 10. First number two dream point, but get got there under a confident ride for yeah, and they're not really going anywhere in front. Sylvester Schwartz and Ben Bury about to be passed by beautiful Ben Bagan. Air Hair Lair is hard driven, trying to get into it, but beautifully humid into contention here. Bagan in company with beautiful Ben. They are the first two. Beautiful Ben, the near side of Bagan. They come to the last. Beautiful Ben and Bagan. Oh, Bagan blundered. Oh, he lost the rider. When with every chance, Bagan out of it at the last, leaves beautiful Ben clear of Baby Taggle running on. Beautiful Ben in front for Laura Morgan. He's going to win his eighth race. Beautiful Ben is home to the fast finishing Baby Taggle. Silvretta Schwartz, Air Haller, Mariner's Moon also finishing quickly. Beautiful Ben's one. Adam Wedge on board, the 11 year old uh, is obliged to shame for Bagan. He was the three out. Tardry is going to get to it first. Coming into it can be a tricky one. Tardry over to high noon. Uh, Peterborough is unseated. Connor Ring when last of the four as not now Seamus tries to challenge Tardry. So does high noon. Two out. Tardry over two clear of high noon and not now Seamus and well in command now Tardry. Coming down towards the final fence. Laura Morgan's Tardry over safely seven in front. Untidy was high noon in second. Not now Seamus in third. They're both well held as the the top weight and the favourite is going to win. Tardry owned by Bennett and O'Brien, trained by Laura Morgan and ridden to victory by Sean Bowen. A decisive victory it was too. Not now Seamus rallied to take second from high noon and the loose piece of her crosses the line and touch wood looks OK. He got warm beforehand but it didn't stop him. Tardry's in, in good form. Look at them form figures. He's won again. Let's jump that really well. Be good to yourself in second. There followed through in third position, getting reminders by Obey the Rules, then Kildurid. Here's the second last for Rafferty. He's good again, and he's got away by four to five lengths. Be good to yourself next, then Kildurid trying to stay on, but it's Rafferty in the clear as they reach the final fence, and he's jumped that really well. Got away by six or seven. Inside the final furlong they go. Rafferty being ridden out here is racing up towards the line with a big lead and Rafferty will go on to score for Laura Morgan and Sean Bowen Rafferty's uh, gone to an all the way success back in second is be good to yourself then kill your it miraculous getaway and obey the rules it's We're into second spot and then uh, back in third place is Eastern Milan they're well clear of the others and now Bold Endeavour's making good progress to come through and tackle the leader, Tiger Jed, as they head towards the final flight of hurdles. Bold Endeavour now produced on the near side, coming there strongly under Adam Wedge to take over from Tiger Jet, who kicked on off the final turn, and Tiger Jet was looking weary when he made a mistake at the last, and Bold Endeavour has now asserted, and he's pulling away up the hill as they head towards the line. It's Bold Endeavour by four lengths, and Bold Endeavour will make it to three wins from three starts and makes a winning debut over hurdles. Bold Endeavour wins in an eventful contest back in second was Tiger Jet in third, Eastern Milan, and in fourth place, a Kendrick. From Jamie Moore in fifth place, as they now turn to face the last three fences. So on towards the open ditch again, Blur away, and Ivel Noble. These two matching strides going into this one. Chased by Percussion, Nestfield, Blue, and Bill and Barn over the third last, and it's Ivel Noble who led clearly there. Ivel Noble from Blur away. Nestfield, Blue is rallying under a strong drive, then Percussion. On to the second last, Ivel Noble over. Nestfield, Blue jinked away to the left, then Blur away. 
percussion bill and barn Ival noble the leader but just looking a little tired now the stride shortening and nesfield blue is attacking on the left as they race on towards the final fence Ival noble joined by nesfield blue who didn't jump it very well and certainly didn't land running but they're tired horses Ival noble and nesfield blue nesfield blue just finding a bit more now Ival noble is getting very weary indeed then percussion staying on all and nesfield blue is pulling up and the percussion is left in front percussion from Ival noble and racing up towards the line oh they're so tired and percussion is going to see it out just the best from Ival noble blur away back in third and nesfield blue who stopped on the run-in was dismounted, has been dismounted by Jamie Moore. Grueling. Demopolis is closing a bit in third, not quite out of it. Here is the final open ditch. This is three out. Hasanki jumps it in the lead. Demopolis now joining Ben Brody in second. Ben Brody made a mistake there, then Flaminger looking tired. Here now is the second last, and it's Hasanki who comes in to take it, jumps it well, and drawing further clear. Demopolis looks weary now in second, uh, but Hasanki is still seemingly full of running. This five-year-old here Hasanki to the final fence and over Hasanki is safely over and has come impressively clear of the others who are pretty much running on the spot Demopolis reaching for the final fence and up the hill Hasanki 12 stone 2 Lewis Dobb taking off 10 pounds but still a decent performance and Hasanki comes through to win by a very wide margin. The mere hit it in third, but is miles clear of the other two, Lindwall and Fenland Tiger, and making the approach now to the final furlong and a half with one more hurdle to jump, and Socialist Agenda extends the lead over Malpas. Socialist Agenda now almost five lengths clear at the final hurdle. Very awkward jump there from Socialist Agenda. Gives Malpas another chance here, and Malpas is coming back at Socialist Agenda. Socialist Agenda being reeled in by Malpas. Socialist Agenda now senses that Malpas is there and Socialist Agenda finds more. Socialist Agenda goes on to win. Big run from Malpas there in second place who rallied and those two are well clear of the others. Coming to the line now to take third place is Fenland Tiger from Reigns of Castamere and Socialist. And then three lengths to cut and run and then another three or four back to Leskin Fair as they leave the back straight and begin the journey towards the final three fences. About half a mile to travel from this point. Ben Bewey, Rizzardo, neck and neck as they take the turn. Wells Gold still only a length away. Rafferty right behind Ben Bewey on the inside rail. Elkstone moving through, travelling strongly just behind them. Massini man making a forward move. And then follows a cut and run, driven along towards the inside and carried a flow under pressure towards the stand side. Heading then towards the final three fences. Ben Bewey, Rafferty putting in a run the far side. Dropping back now is Rizzardo. Elkstone within three lengths of the lead. And then on the near side trying to rally is Wells Gold, two from home. Rafferty coming through with a strong run to probably lead at two from home with Ben Bewey still bang there. Two and a half lengths then to Elkstone who's keeping on in third. They head towards the final fence. Rafferty the far side, up and over in the lead. Ben Bewey back in second, struggling to respond, and then follows Elkstone in third and Massini Man in fourth. But it's Rafferty who's drawing away under Adam Wedge, and Rafferty has pulled six lengths clear from the tiring Ben Bewey, who's going to be joined for second and passed probably for second by Massini Man. We'll wait on the judge for that position. Elkstone is next. They've moved past him, and it's Heartbreak Kid pressing on towards the second last now with Hasanki on the inside. Hasanki reached for that, but he was alongside Heartbreak Kid. Now he's in front. One more fence to go for Hasanki as he comes up towards it. Lewis Dobb and Hasanki is going clear. Oh, and a magnificent leap. He almost overdid it over the final fence, but he's clearly... His legs are full of energy at the moment, this horse, and he absolutely loves these conditions. Hasanki's going to go on to win again for the Hanky Panky Partnership, Lewis Dobb and Laura Morgan. In second, Heartbreak Kid, another good run from him. Crack Deninian just held on to third from Dakota Moiret and pulled up uh, was the other horse, Democratic Oath. Well, she's got a great strike rate here at Air Laura Morgan and Lewis Dobb, who is normally on board Hasanke. They've teamed up to win the first over fences. Great jump at the last, almost stood off too far. The third last, raffle tickets got two lengths to find on those. Then Robin Day Fox and for Paddy the Plumber over in fifth and last. Down towards the second last they go and Bold Endeavour's taking it on. Bold Endeavour for David Noonan gets over the second last by about a half length. Under pressure now he's escape and evade in second position. Raffle tickets. 
make it still back in third as they head down towards the final flight of hurdles. The 11th and final flight is next. We're going to pick them up very shortly. It's Bold Endeavour still by four lengths at the last. Bold Endeavour jumps well. Back in second position, Escape and Evade kept going. They're clear of raffle ticket in third, but inside the final furlong they come. Bold Endeavour being ridden right out here is going to defend his unbeaten record. He's going to make it four from four. David Noonan extends the lead and goes on to score on Bold Endeavour. It's going to be tight in the end for second. Very tight. Escape and Evade was joined by a raffle ticket on the line. They were clear of Robin Day Fox and then uh, for Paddy the Plumber. Hughes starting to shake up five and twenty. Socialist Agenda is coming there powerfully for Adam Wedge, the near side. Then Wild Max and Socialist Agenda joins five and twenty. Wild Max is in third, Anna Benina in fourth, and Socialist Agenda, this unexposed young horse, takes it up now. Goes on from five and twenty. Socialist Agenda is at the last and over two clear. Of five and twenty in second, Anna Benina staying on to go into third, but it's Socialist Agenda in front here for James and Scott Fife. And Laura Morgan, 5 and 20, is chasing hard. But Socialist Agenda is too strong. He's entered here tomorrow. He's won the Scottish County today. Socialist Agenda scores to 5 and 20. Anna Benina and Wild Max in fourth. Well, that was impressive, wasn't it? The style of victory, the way that he... These are the four at the head of affairs as they jump. The third from home. That's the last on the far side. And in the cheek pieces, Mr. Robbo up on the outside. On the inside, Vinny's getaway. They're stride for stride. Two lengths in front of the third horse, Radetzky March. And these three beginning to get away from the ridden along arrival. So here they come towards two out. Now this is the last ditch. Vinny's getaway on the inside. Mr. Robbo on the outside. In the air together, right behind in third place is Radetzky March. Here they come now with a quarter of a mile left to run. One fence left to jump. Vinny's getaway on the inside. In the white colours, Mr. Robbo here on the outside comes Radetzky March. And Radetzky March comes through to take it up under David Noonan. He's quickly gone two, three lengths clear. And he's still on the bit. Radetzky March comes down towards the last fence. It's looking good if he can jump it. He can! Safely over. Radetzky March is going to romp away with this. And what a lovely performance. He's winning hard held on the bit. Well ridden by David Noonan for Laura Morgan. Radetzky March is the winner. In second place is Vinny's getaway. In third, the favourite, Dubai guest stayed on. Emirate, the Katana Faller in behind is Black Ebony. They go down towards the ditch. This is three out. Shambali Rose to the far side. Spiders bite near side. Emirate, the Katana and Champ is real between horses. Then Silver Star mix. And they're followed by Midnight Antics. They've got two fences to go. A race on here. Far side, Shambali Rose near side. Champ is real. Just put an extra stride in there. Behind them, Emirate, the Katana is next. They're kicking away from Silver Star mix. Down towards the final fence. Shambali Rose on the far side. Champ is real. The near Inside they rise and land together at the last and they settle down to fight it out inside the furlong they go near side champ is real being driven to the front champ is real goes on and will score for adam wedge it's another one for laura morgan who's in rude form champ is real's gone on to score to shambali rose in second emirate to katana next then silver star mix and last of the cosmics well gamble landed i think it's fair to say champ is real from out of the handicap, one of five horses out of the handicap. Oh, so, at it now, Buster Valentine, the near side, jumped up sides again. Method to the madness behind them, and they're kicking away from Dragon Fruit. They've got two fences to go in the feature. Buster Valentine on the near side, seemingly so. The far side, Buster Valentine narrowly in front at the second last mistake by Method to the madness in third. They go down towards the final fence, seemingly so. Might have saved a bit on the far side. Here's the last, seemingly so. Got away by a length in second. And Buster Valentine firmly ridden, seemingly so on the run-in, has gone on by a couple of lengths. Buster Valentine can't respond, driven out, seemingly so. It's going to be a double for the prolific Laura Morgan. Adam Wedge on board again. Buster Valentine in second. Third goes to Method to the Madness. And fourth is Dragon Fruit. Well, what a day for Laura Morgan. We actually spoke to her on TV Extra after the first race, and she said the others would go well. She mentioned this seemingly so, but they... Went on, take his dream to the inside, near side, Michaud Co. Down towards the second last they go. Clear the runway in front, at it now, jumped it well. Michaud Co. trying to mount a challenge towards the near side, then take his dream and Claret Dabbler. They've got one fence left to go here, and clear the runway is going. Great guns on the far side at the last. He's measured it really well. Michaud Co 
got over well towards the near side. Inside the final half furlong they go. Clear the runway in front. It's a red letter day for Laura Morgan and Adam Wedge. It's a terrific treble. Clear the runway will go on to score comfortably to Michio Cohen second. Pakey's dream for third. Claret Dabbler in fourth. Yeah, very much invincible today, Laura Morgan and Adam Wedge. They've come up here with uh, three runners, three rides for Alan, three, ray, three runners for Laura. They've all won as well, and they've all been in chases, including Clear the Runway, who's cleared away in the closing stages. To in second place, Lockdo Grocco coming to the second last. Jumped it fine, but four lengths is now the advantage between himself and Goldminer. And Adam Wedge just keeping this horse up to his work out in front with now one to jump, Lock Derg Rocco, four in front of Gold Miner as they come towards the last light. Lock Derg Rocco over safely, Gold Miner in second place, and now nudged out. Lock Derg Rocco is five or six lengths clear from Gold Miner, and the favourite will win the opening race. Lock Derg Rocco, Laura Morgan's excellent form continues. Adam Wedge in the saddle could be the start of a very good day for them. Goldminer in second place and looking way, way back. Star of Mark Kinch has come past empty quarter for third place. Well, a really interesting opening race, wasn't it? Lockdog Doug Rocco was not going at the best. Well, he wasn't going best at the time. From Spider's Bite and Rapid Raider. And then Definite Wisdom, Emirat de Katana dropping away tamely. Champ is real to the second last. Over safely from Rapid Raider in second place now. Spider Spites third and Definite Wisdom in fourth and still hard on the bridle. Champ is real, comes down towards the last. Jumped it one really well there. Rapid Raider fluffed his lines at the last. Definite Wisdom will challenge him for second. But this is armchair stuff here for Adam Wedge. Champ is real, giving Laura Morgan a double. Uh, Laura, of course, was... Only just an inch or two away from a treble today, but a double it'll be. Rapid Raider and Definite Wisdom were the ones fighting out second place, and Spider's Bite and Emirat de Katana came home next. Champ is real. Well, at this level, the hype was real, and he's backed off his muscle for a success from the back end of February in no uncertain way. Leading by a couple of lengths, out on the tear now, being pushed along to try and close. Manila Hub and across the line have been hard at it since the midpoint down the back straight as they make their way towards the final three. At the moment, clear the runway, certainly travelling best. Heading down towards three out. Clear the runway. Into it, hits it, goes on by a couple of lengths. Trying to respond is out on the tear in second place, followed by the ridden along Manila Hub across the line as well and truly beaten off. Two out, clear the runway. Heads towards it, leads by only a length and a half now. Out on the tear is closing. Manila Hub is untidy back in third place. Clear the runway, still travelling well, being held together by Adam Wedge. Heading towards the final fence, clear the runway. Good jump as well. That, that will surely seal it now. Five lengths clear from out on the tear in second. Then Manila Hub. That was a, a positive ride from Adam Wedge, a circuit out and wins comfortably, clear the runway. Does it nicely for Alan Rogers, Laura Morgan and Adam Wedge. Throughout, chased into the wings of the third last by On Market, then follows Cara de Flo and Trump's benefit. And behind those, Geordie Washington, who made a bad mistake. Latua looks well beaten behind those. And then who's the governor? Eaton Miller, seemingly so inseparable, going over two out, still two or three lengths in front of On Marker, who's been hard ridden. Trump's benefit. Cara de Flo behind those, seemingly so, heads Eaton Miller at the final fence. They land three or four lengths clear of On Marker. Mark Huck in third, seemingly so, is drawing clear of Eaton Miller in the closing stages under Adam Wedge. The always prominent, seemingly so, runs out a ready winner. Eaton Miller on Mark Huck, Trump's benefit, Cara de Flo, and behind those, a never nearer who's the governor. Well, you wouldn't call him consistent, seemingly so, but he has won for the second time over fences and it's his first win since Musselburgh back in. Up on the outside, percussion, Adam Wedge moving well, but right with him is brought before lunch and Richie McClellan who's sticking at him. Three fences left to jump and the N and L Franklin Developments Limited handicap chase. Percussion, here he comes this side. Percussion lands right upside, bought before lunch. There's no doubt which horse is going the better and now Percussion comes through smoothly to take it up. This is the second last. 
percussion. He's over in the lead and leading by three to four lengths. Rev has been pulled up, so one fence left to jump. And it's the favourite percussion coming to it. Jumps it clean and gets away with it, leading by three. Bought before lunch is staying on in good style and he's getting a bit tired now, percussion, but he's going to hang on for Adam Wedge and Laura Morgan. And percussion is the horse who hits the right note here. In second place is Bought before lunch. It's a long gap. Let's see what happens now. They're sprinting as they turn it down straight and clear the runway. Winds it up. Are suddenly under pressure. Restitution is now two lengths behind. In third place, Castle Quarter is close enough, if good enough. Two out. Clear the runway. Clears the second last. The leader by three. Restitution under strong driving. In third place is Castle Quarter. And it's clear the runway. The long odds on favour. Three lengths in front. Restitution doing his best. One flight left to jump. Here he comes into it now. Clear the runway. Clears the last. And he's going to soar home here. Clear the runway. Adam Wedge on board for Laura Morgan. It's a double in the colours of Aaron Rodgers. And clear the runway is winning like an odds on favourite should. Restitution is second. And in third, Castle Quarter. Boy who's gone second and then Booley Beach clear the runway at the penultimate flight he was long it's been his nemesis in the past but he got very quickly from one side to the other he's already bearing down on the last and he's over that a little more neatly and well clear of Bareen Boy Booley Beach in third untidy and halfway up the run in a clear the runway is miles ahead extending the distance still further in fact you can name the distance if you want clear the runway at prohibitive odds a wins emphatically for Alan Rogers, Adam Wedge and Laura Morgan. Marine Boy is second and Booley Beach will ensure that they complete in betting order. So no dramas, clear the runway, clears away to win for owner Alan Rogers, trainer Laura Morgan, who continues in tremendous form, had an excellent campaign last year and has hit the ground running this new campaign. Adam Wedge, who's been on board. Fire away in second. Temple Park is driven in third place. Brellan Dar going around the inside. Demi Sang now being asked a question. Cracking find with fire away. Poised to strike here as they now run towards the turn for home. And fire away was in such good form over fences. Already won a few for Laura Morgan. Is he about to win another one? He's taken the lead from cracking find inside the last furlong. It's fire away in front and striding clear of cracking find. Temple Park is back in third and fire away way back over fences it's his fourth win over the bigger obstacles sticky toffee putting twice for laura morgan far away wins adam wedge in the saddle cracking fine second temple park third then demi sang brelandar and mount muse Fire away, proving very versatile. Doubles on the day for Laura Morgan and Adam Wedge. Wins this time over fences, having been second over hurdles just 10 days ago. Running out a comfortable victor from cracking find in second place and Temple Park. Opened up by three or four to sail. Our Vico Blur's run his race, about to be passed by Dr. Sanderson, it looks like, as they head for the turn for home. Approaching the last furlong here and clear the runway is in front. Sayo is staying on pretty well in second position. He's got two and a half to three. Three lengths to find, clear the runway. Wedge having to get pretty urgent here. Sayo is closing, so is Dr. Sanderson. Clear the runway with a dwindling advantage. Sayo getting closer with Dr. Sanderson the outside. Clear the runway in front. Dr. Sanderson thrusting, clear the runway. Six of his last eight now wins the Richard Ling Memorial from the closing Dr. Sanderson, Sayo. And Tonto Spirit might have nabbed fourth from Arvico Blur. Well, dramatic close home, but just always doing enough clear the wrong way. He's doing tremendously well. How prolific. And Laura Morgan, another winner for her with this clear the wrong way. And Adam Wedge, nicely tied run. You could see it was almost... ...holding the inside line. 
the Volland poised in behind them in third as they range there back towards the top of the home run and come towards fence number 17 and Paseo still holding sway narrowly but the challengers are coming either side Miami Crescent on the right the Volland on the left as they come towards three from home and three in the air together there and it's now the Volland who sweeps through on the outside from Miami Crescent over towards the right these two have moved away from Paseo and the Volland will rise at the second last with a length and a half lead but he didn't jump it too well Miami Crescent trying to rally over towards the far side Paseo's three lengths away in third coming down towards the final fence Miami President has to switch as the Volan is now two and a half lengths clear and he jumps it well and the Volan being driven clear here from Miami President long time leader Paseo back in third and it's a first win over fences and a second win here at Southwell for the Volan for Laura Morgan and Adam Wedge beat Miami President in second place and Paseo was last Change or the complexion of the race has changed completely. The loose horse running off. Hopefully, uh, Kevin's okay as Ilan's leads on the turn for home from in second position. Illusion of time, uh, both being shaken up here. Then here comes Sue and McTavish. Illusion of time trying to attack Ilan's, who's carrying the penalty. Illusion of time, the near side. Ilan's on the far side. Illusion of time and Ilan's still up for grabs here. Illusion of time, a narrow leader to Ilan's in second place, and illusion of time is going to make a winning start here illusion of time and Lewis Dobb come home to win it in second place Ilan's a good run by the mayor here comes Sue in third clear of Elsian in fourth we had drama before the race in the parade ring we had drama halfway down the back straight for the final turn we've got a loose horse finishing in front of the principals and it's all resulted in a winning debut for the Laura Morgan train in the long odds on favorite and uh, all three going nicely. Let's see what happens as they come at the home straight. Two flights left to jump. Tardry has the lead. Up on the outside is Switch Partner. On the inside is Felino de Percy. But Tardry's beginning to stretch them now. It begins to go three clear as they come towards two out. Tardry skips over by five lengths. A slight mistake by Felino de Percy. And uh, Switch Partner now makes ground into second. But about seven, eight lengths behind the leader. And Tardry, the long time favourite, is looking good. Adam Wedge takes a look behind. He's about 10 clear. One flight left to jump. Tardry comes down towards the final flight. And safely over no worries at all the long odds on favorite is going to come home like a long odds on favorite should tardry wins it for adam wedge and laura morgan in second place is felino de bercy in third switch partner is give me a cuddle there's a widening gap to the bold thady the leaders over the second last and kicking down towards the 12th and final flight it's lick lighter who's made every yard of the running jumps that really well gets away by eight lengths give me a cuddle in second is clear of the bold thady then perryville but inside the final furlong is a long run in here but up front lick lighter's not stopping and leads by eight to ten to in second give me a cuddle who's not eating into this margin of lead lick lighter's gonna go pull it opposed to score for laura morgan and Adam Wedge, Lick Lighter, an all the way winner to give me a cuddle in second. The bold Thady's probably going to hang on to third from Perryville in fourth. Yeah, it's much better from Lick Lighter, who scores for Laura Morgan and Adam Wedge, 11 year old, 8 to 1. Lick Lighter, the winner. We are going to get over to Red Car and we'll head to so, to run his race, then down to Austin. She rock and roll still continues as they make the run into the straight, and now it's all changed. The Bayer du Matin gives way quickly, and the new leader is the Volan as they head towards the final three fences. Zoffoli is the nearest pursuer with Dazzling Glory back in third, three or four lengths away. Then the weakening of Bayer du Matin and present chief has made no further impression they come towards two from home the volant has three lengths to spare the volant blunders there at two from home but still cleared it with a handsome advantage from zoffoli who's two lengths ahead of uh, dazzling glory back in third but it's the volant in the hands of adam wedge who comes towards the final fence and that was a good jump and he's already got the race in the bag but he's going to come home and coast up the run in to record a third southwell success and adam wedge can take it very easy on the run in wins with a plenty in hand, wins by about eight. Pretty close in the end for sense. And then there's eight lengths to top of the Cotswolds and two lengths to Red Happy. They swing out of the back straight and they head towards the final three furlongs and the final three fences. 
And Mr. Matthew about to be pressed for the lead by the Volan, who's sent up sides by Adam Wedge as they straighten up and they've now put four or five lengths between themselves and Neville's crossing third. The Volan on the left, Mr. Matthew on the right, going towards three from home. The Volan on the near side just brushed through the top of it, landed in front, but only narrowly for Mr. Matthew trying to battle back the far side, and there's not a great deal in it as they go towards two from home. It is the Volan, though, with the advantage. The Volan a better leap that time, landed a length or so clear of Mr. Matthew, stoked up by Sean Brown in second and trying to switch towards the near side, but the, the Volan has now extended the lead. He's gone five lengths clear of Mr. Matthew, and he's over the last safe through the Volan. For Mr. Matthew, no more to give back in second. Neville's cross booked for third, but it's another win for the Volan, a fourth here at Southwell. And he continues in terrific form. Wins again. The Volan gets on so well with Adam Webb. This is one and two. In third place, staying on is Golden Chancer. Here they come down towards the second last. And as they come to it now, Rattle and Hum on the left. And they're in the air together. Rattle and Hum and Friary Rock. Neck and neck as they come down towards the last fence. This is the 15th and final fence. It's Friary Rock this side. Rattle and Hum on the... Friary Rock's in front. Friary Rock now takes it up on the run-in. Brian Hughes looking for his third winner of the night, the champ. And Friary Rock staying, staying on again is Rattle and Hum. He's doing his level best. But Friary Rock, the favourite, is going to win it for Brian Hughes and Laura Morgan in second place. That is Rattle and Hum. And staying on to be third in the cheek piece is Golden Chancer. Yeah, treble for that man, Brian Hughes, and he's back at the top, outright of the Jockeys' Championship, one ahead of Sean Bowen. They're both riding here again tomorrow. It's very early days to be talking about championships, but the 64 favourite, Friary Rock. Right there as well is Get Far. This is two out. Oh, five in line. One or two got a bit close there. But this could be good. Let's see what happens as they come down towards the final flight. Barney Stinson, possibly just the leader. Now on the far side, Get Far is coming with a good-looking run. Lakeshore Drive this side. Three in the air together. On the run in now. Lakeshore Drive on the right. On the left, it's Get Far. Between the two, it's Barney Stinson. It's Lakeshore Drive just getting his head in front where it matters. It's still close. Lakeshore Drive is going to win it. In second place is Barney Stinson. In third is Get Far. Lakeshore Drive, the favourite, has won under Brian Hughes for Laura Morgan. A second run for that yard and has beaten Barney Stinson into second place. 13 to 8 favourite goes in at Perth in what was their third race this afternoon. You see me challenged on the left by illusion of time. Then swinging on the wide outside, Diablo Lock tries to make ground. Then staying on from a long way back is Mosawa. Here they come now inside the final two furlongs. Brian Hughes on illusion of time comes through to take it up. Under pressure on the right is Say You, Say Me. Right behind in third is Diablo Lock, who's running a very big race here. Now, can he catch the leader? A furlong left to run. Here they come. Illusion of time has the lead by two. Diablo Locke is coming with a good run in second, but it's illusion of time. Who wins it? In second place, Diablo Locke. In third, say you, say me. Illusion of time uh, has won the final race at Perth today. Brian Hughes completing a, a double. Laura Morgan likewise. Ready enough winner in the end. Nine to four.